Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. And I talk about books on here, I talk about stitchy stuff sometimes. But today is a Five Arts You Reads, and I'm gonna do a book chat today. Just a quick one, I think. About a book I read recently, and I just kind of keep thinking about it. So let's chat about it. This things that things have gotten worse since we last spoke by Eric LaRocca. This book, yo. Okay. I first heard about this, I believe, over on Jay Maddox's channel. Um, Jay Maddox Entertainment. I'll link him below. He does good reviews. Check him out if you haven't already. I'm sure you have already, but anyway. He spoke about this a few weeks ago now, maybe. And I was like, I've got to read this. It sounds great. So I pre-ordered the ebook. I said, I've got to read this. And it came out June 1st or June 2nd. And... I started it right away. <laughs> Darn, damn the TBR, I started it right away. And um, it was good, you guys. So what's it about? Well, so the time frame, let's say, what well, it maybe said the year, but I don't remember now, but sort of late 90s, early 2000s, we'll say. The time of Instant Messenger. Y'all remember Instant Messenger? And chat rooms and forum rooms and that kind of thing. That's how we interneted back then. And um, so that's how this story is told through emails and instant messages between these two women. Our, one of the women is, is Agnes and she is trying to sell an apple peeler. It's an antique vintage apple peeler that's been in her family for a long time, but she's a bit down on her luck, needs some help paying the rent. So she puts out, puts a post out, and you know, serious inquiries only, because it is a pretty niche object. And um, and lo and behold, I think uh, Zoe, I think was her name, says, "Why, well, yes, I would love to purchase this antique apple peeler from you, dear Agnes." So. This is sort of where our story goes from there. And again, like I said, it's told solely through emails and direct messages. And that's how the book is formatted. So if you like that sort of thing, then you'll like then you'll like this one probably. Um, through these emails and instant messages, you know, these two ladies kind of start vibing on each other. They kind of start liking each other. They're like, "Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Okay, let's." I kind of like you, so what do you think, you know? And then Zoe's like, yeah, but I'm going to need you to do whatever I say, whenever I say it. So we have this sort of dominant uh, relationship here that, that starts forming, again, solely through emails and instant messages. These women never actually will meet each other, right? But this takes a turn to uh, some mighty dark places. <laughs> Agnes, Agnes really becomes pretty obsessed, pretty obsessed. And we see this sort of almost de this descent into this obsessiveness and where it leads our dear Agnes. It's not the best place. It's not the best place, but it sure was fun to read about. <laughs> so, if this sounds interesting for uh, to you, you gotta give it a go. You gotta give it a go. You just have got to see what this book is about, because I'm telling you, it's kind of a wild ride. <laughs> You gotta read it. When you read it, let me know. Because let's chat about it. Let's chat about it down there. Because this book, y'all. This book, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. Because it's a short novella. And of course, I don't want to spoil anything for you. But dang. <laughs> I love this book. Things have gotten worse since we last spoke. Eric LaRocca. He turned it out on this one. It was perfect. <laughs> Loved it. Five stars. Go read it and then come back and let me know so we can talk about it. 
Thanks so much for watching. This is a quick little book chat video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.